Hey, what's up, guys? This is Man Flavor. It's gonna be my second video, and uh, we're gonna do a Rathy Basin. Now, I am still clicking. I have not got my Razor Mouse back yet, but uh, you know, I did pretty well this time. I did pretty well. So, I think for this vid, I'm just gonna talk about little, you know, strategy techniques. You know, little tricks and tips that I use. Um, philosophy, maybe. You know, of uh, running the prop pally. But uh, you know. We'll see what happens. We're just gonna wing it. So of course, I gotta use the Chris move technique. Go always go for B. So uh, you know, I gotta get that. You gotta cap that middle flag first. It's most important. And the freaking alliance just disappeared. So I figured, you know, instead of going and fighting them at uh, down there at the fucking mines, that I just take this flag right here. And it worked out pretty well. I had some, just some minor, you know, hold ups. So since the hunter is going to be the first uh, first guy that I play, obviously uh, the trick to killing a hunter is always keep him in range. If he's if he's in range, he can't really do much. You know, he's got a couple stuns and a couple tricks, but um, basically just uh, stay in range and then always like watch where he's facing because he could do uh, that fucking I can't remember that fucking move, but where he jumps back, so. If you're facing him, um, that would be better because then you can just, you know, if he jumps back, then you can run after him. And you don't have to you know, waste any time turning or figuring out where the hell he went. So, pallies, uh, red pallies, I mean, you just don't have much of a problem with this prop pally. You know, if they're totally geared or something, you got like five people on you, then, you know, red pally can be a problem, but. <coughs> It's, uh, red pallies aren't, red pallies aren't problems. Uh, so we had a whole bunch of, I think it was a whole bunch of hunters, uh, in this one. Sorry, I had to cut, like, a minute off the front, a couple seconds off the back. So, I can't remember what we had in this one, but... We had, like, two or three mages, and the mages just fucking sucked. All of the mages fucking sucked. It was ridiculous. I mean, it was fucking awesome. It was ridiculous. Um... I'm seeing a, uh, a retro druid right there, Restro druid. Um, I should be on him. I think I'm switching to him or her in a sec. Um, you know, Restro druids, you just gotta do the same thing. If you think they're gonna pop cooldowns, um, you just pop a stun. And I mean, there's no, if they go in a tree form, there's no clue, you know. There's no cast bar, there's no warning. It's just, if you get him down to a, like a panic point, is what I call it. Then you know it might be a good time to pack, uh, you know, stun him. But other than that, all you can do against Russo Druids is just interrupt anything that you see, anything that you see coming. Because I know a lot of their spells are, uh, you know, they are not, or they are insta casts. But um, you know that's all you can do. Now, excuse me. Like I said, these mages, these mages are not very good. And of course, I got stuck in two of these uh, rings of gay. It fucking popped a third one. What the fuck? They think I'm going to run into that? And, yep, okay. So I went right to the Rustro Druid. So that's good. Always trying down a healer first. Um, even if you are not making any progress. This is my philosophy on, on downing healers first. It's, if you are putting pressure on them, they are taking more mana and more heals to heal themselves rather than the people around you. So, while the healer is not dying, all the people around you will be dying. So, even if you got, if you're on a disc priest, or, you know, he just fucking bubbled or some shit, and he's still healing himself, stay on the disc priest. That's, you gotta do it. You just have to do it. Otherwise, the battle's gonna go on for way too long. If they down your healer, you know, if you got a healer with you, and they down your healer, I mean, it's all, it's all a race of whose healer is gonna go down first. I mean... So you just gotta stay on the healer, and uh, you know hopefully all your teammates will be able to kill all the other DPS or tanks or you know prot whatever the fucks around you. And uh, even if it's fucking like shaman ass or stubborn ass shaman or something like that, something that just ain't gonna die, keep pressure on the healer. That's I mean that's what I do. I I like to keep pressure on the healer. <coughs> Hammer, fuck your face. I'm you know I know that's Tally's thing, but. It's, I mean, it's definitely Tally's thing, but I might say it every once in a while. I fucking love saying it. Tally's my fucking hero. 
I would call Tally Daddy. I would, I would be, I would definitely be Tally's bitch. I would. God, gotta love a strong man like that. All right, guys. You know what? It, that was shop talk. That was shop talk talking. My God, dude. Like fucking the shop has been so gay lately. Like the whole point of going to work, or you know, the whole thing at the shop is to prove. To somehow prove to everybody that that guy in the shop is gay. Like, and just yesterday it was just horrible. It was fucking horrible. Like, people were watching fucking gay porn in the shop for fucking, like... They were watching gay porn for like 30 fucking minutes in the shop. I mean, that's just... You know what? That's just too much, dude. Like, you gotta let the game go after that. I mean, if you watch gay porn for 30 minutes... You gotta be gay, man. I mean, we should just stop playing. But, anyways, back to the uh, back to the battleground. This this is pretty awesome. I love this little this little uh, clip in here at the mines. Um, basically, you know, I just had you know a few people here, and I think it was me, and there was a, also a rogue here. Oh, okay, a druid. I think a rogue shows up later. Oh, I guess okay. So there's a rogue there. I guess. I guess we're pretty, uh, we had a bunch of people. But, uh, like, there's just a whole bunch of people down here, and we just fucking wiped them out. And this guy, that was fucking close. That was close. He damn near got the flag, I bet. I didn't see a Casper or anything on it, but, I mean, it must have been close. It must have been down to the second. But, <clears throat> again, warriors, like I was talking about, you know, different classes being easy to kill. Warriors are one of the easiest people to kill for me. Um... You know, warriors do tons and tons of DPS, but that's where I got all that stamina, that resilience. So, you know, I can stand up pretty well against warriors. Um, you know, other classes like mages, like warriors are good for mages. Um, warriors are the best melee class for mages, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, maybe DKs would be good too, but, I mean, um, warriors, they've just got so much maneuverability. But with me, I mean... I don't need maneuverability. I don't need to keep up with a warrior because if a, if if a warrior can do DPS on me, I can do DPS on a warrior because you know we both have to be in range. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I I usually I like to find warriors. I like to go after warriors, and I like to avoid mages. But I mean, look at this fucking mate. Look at this mage. What what she does? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, she's obviously there. I mean, maybe she's a bot, but. I don't know, man. Like, she's there, but she's not doing anything. She's just fucking blanked. She's gonna do that little fucking freezing thing in a minute. I don't get what's going on here. But, uh, yeah, so, you know. Oh, fucking druids, too. I fucking love down in druids. Kitty druids, bear druids. I love down in druids. Even boom kids. You know what? I love down in any type of druid. I don't know what it is. I just, I really like down in druids. And now this, I didn't fucking understand, because he's a fucking hunter, right? So, who the fuck... Oh. I was fucking looking at the rogue. I thought the... I got... I thought the hunter got frost trapped and I was doing DPS on him. I'm like, why isn't he coming out of here? I could not figure that out. But, see, this is what I'm talking about, about hunters. Is you just gotta stay in range. And then they're gonna do that fucking little jump back thing. I don't even know if this guy's gonna do it. Like, half... Dude, fucking, like, 90% of the people in this BG were just horrible. Like, I did not find one guy that actually, you know, put up a fight. You know. I don't know, man. But fucking, you know. Okay, so we got this bear druid. And I think this druid is actually a resto druid. And he just popped cooldowns. But, I mean, even for a resto druid being in bear form. I mean, he's he's pretty good, man. Well, I mean, not, you know, he's not skillfully good. I'm just saying, you know, a resto druid going into bear form. You know, spec for, you know, fucking intellect and all that shit. And all of a sudden he's got all the stamina and shit. And he was he was hard to kill for a resto druid uh, pop and cooldown. So gotta just hand a little bit to him. I don't really remember what's going on up here now. I uh, think I'm, I'm just gonna run all the way to the stables. So I guess while we're running, I can talk about a little bit about 4.1. I'm currently waiting for 4.1 to come out right now. It's supposed to come out today. Today's Tuesday, and it's 12:28 local and the server said that they're gonna pop up at 1230 so fucking right after I finish this video 
I'm, I'm definitely going to check it out. And I got to get my Guardian mount, dude. That mount looks so fucking badass. So, I'm definitely going to get it, dude. I got the fucking Celestial Steed, man. I, you know, it's fucking awesome, though, because, you know, if you if you level in new characters, like, once you get to 20, you don't have to worry about finding a mount. It comes in your mailbox. So you can just fucking make a new character, and you will have a mount on it already. That Celestial Seed. And I'm assuming the Guardian Ancient King, or not Guardian Ancient Kings, fucking Guardian or whatever the fuck, the Lion with Wings, is going to be the same thing. And that thing is way more badass. I mean, I think it even looks bigger. It looks pretty fucking huge. But, alright, let's get back to the game. Let's see what I'm doing. Fucking Warriors first, as always. Fucking easiest shit to kill. Most of the time. I mean, you're always going to have the fucking geared-ass Warriors. Or the geared-ass players that, you know, are going to be a bitch to kill. But So, let's see. I got my eye on that Hunter right now. Just going to finish him off. And then, uh, I got to find that Druid, that, that healer. So... That's the goal, to get that healer down. I mean, I think I might be sticking to this rogue just because he's, you know, he's on his last leg. Yeah, let's see if I give my hammer fucker face. Yeah, and you, gotta, you just gotta get back on the druid. Where the fuck did the druid go? Huh. I didn't even see him get killed. But anyways, this is my fucking favorite part of the video. This is why I fucking posted the video. I love, love, love spawn trapping, dude. So I fucking... I end up spawn trapping all these guys up here, and surprisingly enough, this has got to be like one of the only times this has happened. Like, everybody comes up here with me. So as you can see right now, I think we have like three bases, they have one. I can't really see just because the preview quality on my uh, fucking video maker or whatever the fuck. But, uh, you know, we're, gonna, we're eventually going to be capping all the flags, all the bases, and we're just going to spawn trap everybody here. Like, we're going to have... Their ten here, their ten are gonna be spawn trapped here, and our ten are gonna eventually come up here. I don't, I don't know if we actually have all ten, but you know we have a fucking shit ton of people here, and this was just fucking a blast. If I had my fucking knock of mouse, oh my god, dude. I mean, it'd be done. I mean, it'd be fucking done quick. As you can see, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be over pretty quickly here. It was actually this is probably one of the fastest uh, Rathi basins I've ever done. But, uh, you know, not much to talk about, I guess, right here. It's just, you know, fucking killing everybody. Always gotta lay down a consecration whenever you can while these people pop up. I don't think I do it all the time. I think I forget, because consecration isn't like it was in, uh, you know, Wrath of the Lunch King, where you pop it every, you know, every time. Every, uh, oh, whatever the fuck. Dude, I'm at a loss of words today. I can't fucking think today. But... Pop cooldowns now, dude. Fucking, uh, you do a lot of damage as a pilot when you pop cooldowns like this. Like, uh, see what I should be doing? Is I should be doing that fucking. Oh my god, I can't fucking remember what it's called. The one where you do uh, the you do 20% extra damage off the word of glory. I can't fucking remember, dude. Dude, I, I actually don't know what like half these moves are called. I just remember my pictures. Like the only class where I actually know what moves are called are hunters because hunters that's that was my first that was my first uh level 70 whatever the fuck i actually started in vanilla but i did not have a level 60 in vanilla um it took me until burning crusade to get a level 70 and i got a level 70 like toward the end of burning crusade like i was uh i was like die hard world of warcraft all the time see now oh okay i use laid on hands uh, pretty soon, everybody's just gonna pile up on me, and I'm just, I fucking go down quick, but, anyways, it took me until the end of Burning Crusade to get a level 70, and it was a hunter, so, I mean, I, the longest class I ever played was on my hunter. <sighs> See, this is where it starts getting messy, man. Like, I think I'm gonna down this druid, maybe even not. So everybody's gonna fucking kill me. Let's see, I can't remember. Yeah, here it goes. So now I, I eventually get in stone locked. Fucking everybody just goes on me. I can't. I don't even know where the fucking rest of my team is. But look at this. Look how quickly I went down. Could not ward of glory. Oh my god. So anyways, guys, this is about it. 
So it's only my second video. I know it's getting, I think it's getting a little better. I'm starting to get the hang of it, feel more, a little more comfortable. But like I said in the last one, I'll only go up from here. Thanks for watching.